Today's class is on robot sensors. There is a huge array of sensors available for measuring almost any phenomenon. However, in this topic, we will only discuss position and velocity sensors used in conjunction with robotics and automatic manufacturing. Basically robot sensors are used to estimate the robot's internal condition and outside environment that means for both internal feedback control and external interaction with the outside environment. Sensors in robots are very similar to the functions of human sensory organs. In certain cases, the sensors may be similar in function to that of humans such as vision, touch, and smell. In other cases, the sensors may be something humans lack such as a radioactive sensor. Generally the robot sensors are classified into two groups, internal sensors and external sensors. Internal sensors which are used to obtain the information about the robot itself, such as its position sensor, velocity sensor, acceleration sensors, motor torque sensor, etc. While external sensors are used to gather the information in the surrounding environment such as cameras, range sensors, contact and proximity sensors and force sensors. Why robot needs sensors? Because sensor provides awareness on surroundings such as what's ahead, what's around, what's out there. Sensors allows interaction with environment such as robot lawn mower can see cut grass. Sensors protects robot itself and used for self-preservation that is safety, damage prevention, stairwell sensor. Sensors gives the robot capability to goal seek that means it can find colorful objects, seek goals. What can be sensed by sensors if attached to a robot? Can sense a light, the presence of light, color of light, intensity of light, direction of light? Can sense the sound, the presence of sound, frequency of sound, intensity of sound and direction of sound? Can sense heat, temperature of the heat, wavelength of heat, magnitude of heat and direction of heat can sense the presence of chemicals? concentration of chemicals and can identity the chemical also can sense the object proximity presence absence distance bearing color etc can sense the physical orientation attitude position magnitude pitch roll your coordinates can sense the magnetic and electric fields presence magnitude and orientation can sense the resistance electrical indirectly via voltage and current, presence, magnitude, etc. can sense the capacitance, via excitation and oscillation, presence and magnitude. Can sense the inductance, via excitation and oscillation, presence and magnitude. The animation of the robot shows that it can find the obstacle and through outside. The robot rotates in its place, searching for an obstacle with its ultrasonic distance sensor. Once it finds the obstacle, it advances towards it in order to expel that object outside the perimeter. The movement in the forward direction continues until an infrared reflectance sensor detects the black line then robot stops. Now, the robot goes backward for a few milliseconds and rotates to detect new object. Here to find the object ultrasonic sensor is used and to make the robot within the perimeter an infrared sensor is used. The animation shows a line following robot used to follow the line path on surface. The line may be black or white in color. They constructed a line following robot using LDR sensor it can travel black line on the white surface. Here light dependent resistor is used to detect and follow the path line. This is to animations shows the basic need of sensors for a robot. Position sensors. A position sensor is used to measure linear or angular position in reference to a fixed point or arbitrary reference. The sensor can measure the distance traveled by a body and also be used to detect the presence or absence of an object. The position sensors includes an encoder that is a digital optical device that converts motion into a sequence of digital pulses. A potentiometer dot is a variable resistance device that expresses linear or angular displacements in terms of voltage. A linear variable differential transformer is a displacement transducer that provides high accuracy, 
it generates an AC signal whose magnitude is a function of the displacement of a moving core, a synchros and resolvers. Potentiometer. A potentiometer converts position information into a variable voltage through a resistor. As the sliding contact, wiper, slides on the resistor due to a change in position, the proportion of the resistance before or after the point of contact with the wiper compared to the total resistance varies. Potentiometers can be rotary or linear, and therefore, can measure linear or angular motions. The animations shows the working of rotary and linear potentiometers to measure linear and angular motions. Firstly a rotary potentiometer that enabling the user to measure revolutions of motion of a shaft. The analog input pin converts the resistance values into integer position values. Now the linear potentiometer that enabling the user to measure distance traveled from the starting point to the next point. Potentiometers are generally used as internal feedback sensors in order to report the position of joints and links. Potentiometers are used both alone as well as together with other sensors such as encoders. In that case, the encoder reports the current position of joints and links, whereas the potentiometer reports the startup positions. As a result, the combination of the sensors allows minimal input requirement with maximum accuracy. The image also showing the working of the rotary and linear potentiometers to measure linear and angular motions. Encoders. An encoder is a simple device that can output a digital signal for each small portion of a movement. To do this, the encoder discourse strip is divided into small sections. Each section is either opaque or transparent. A light source, such as an LED on one side, provides a beam of light to the other side of the encoder discourse strip, where it is seen by a light sensitive sensor, such as a phototransistor. If the disk's angular position, or in the case of a strip, the linear position, is such that the light is revealed, the sensor on the opposite side will be turned on and will have a high signal. If the angular position of the disk is such that the light is occluded, the sensor will be off and its output will be low, therefore, a digital output. As the disk rotates, it can continuously send signals. If the signals are counted, the approximate total displacement of the disk can be measured at any time. The animation showing the basic principle behind the working of an encoder. There is light source one side to provide a light and a light sensitive sensor other side to detect a beam of light and in between a rotating disk is placed to measure the displacement in the form of signals. Encoders are basically classified as linear and rotary type and again classified as absolute and incremental encoders. Animation shows that an example of where a linear encoder used for a CNC milling machine where precise movement measurements are required for accuracy in manufacturing. Animation showing that when the shaft rotates, a unique code pattern is produced. This means that each position of the shaft has a pattern and this pattern is used to determine the exact position. Absolute rotary encoders can measure angular positions while incremental rotary encoders can measure things such as distance, speed, and position. Resolvers. Resolvers are used to measure an angular motion, the output of a resolver is analog. Resolvers are reliable, robust, and accurate. A resolver is also a transformer where the primary coil is connected to the rotating shaft and carries an alternating current either through slip rings or from a brushless transformer within it. There are two secondary coils, placed 90 degree apart from each other. As the rotor rotates, the flux developed rotates with it. When the primary coil in the rotor is parallel to either of the two secondary coils, the voltage induced in that coil is maximum, while the other secondary coil perpendicular to it does not develop any voltage. As the rotor rotates, Eventually the voltage in the first secondary coil goes to zero, while the second coil develops its maximum voltage. For all other angles in between, the two secondary coils develop a voltage proportional to the sine and cosine of the angle between the primary and the two secondary coils. The figure shows the basic working principle of a resolver which will be used to measure the angular motion. Which shows the stator 
rotor, primary winding and two secondary coils in a resolver. A resolver is an electromagnetic transducer that can be used in a wide variety of position and velocity feedback applications which includes light duty or servo, light industrial or heavy duty applications. Resolvers, known as motor resolvers, are commonly used in servo motor feedback applications. Velocity sensors, encoders, tachometers and differentiation of position signal are the common velocity sensors used in robotics. Encoders. If an encoder is used for displacement measurement, there is in fact no need to use a velocity sensor. Tachometer. A tachometer is in fact a generator that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Its output is an analog voltage proportional to the input angular speed. It may be used along with potentiometers to estimate velocity. Tachometers are generally inaccurate at very low speeds. A tachometer also called a revolution counter or RPM gauge is an instrument that measures the rotation speed of a shaft or disc, as in a motor or other machine. The device usually displays the revolutions per minute, RPM, on a calibrated analog dial, but digital displays are increasingly common. Tachometers can be divided into DC, digital tachometer and AC, analog, tachometer but in robotics DC tachometer is regularly used. The figure showing the use of tachometer to measure the speed of shaft or disc in revolutions per minute. Differentiation of position signal. If the position signal is clean, it is actually possible, and simple, to differentiate the position signal and convert it to velocity signal. To do this, it is necessary that the signal be as continuous as possible to prevent the creation of large impulses in the velocity signal. Therefore, it is recommended that a resistor with conductive polymer film be used for position measurement, as a wire wound potentiometer's output is piecewise and unfit for differentiation. However, differentiation of a signal is always noisy and should be done very carefully. Thank you this lecture given by Dan and Jay working as assistant professor in mechanical engineering department, Vignans it, Visakapatnam. Please give your comments, like the video and subscribe the channel Yantra Parignan.